Oh, look at that keck. She's already enjoying her new toy. This, I thought, wasn't going to be delivered until tomorrow, although I was kind of hoping it would come a day early because it's Amazon. This is why I constructed this. But there's more than just this tunnel. There is also this. Babies, you're going to get to go outside. The cats are just very spooked of outside because they don't go out there and Previously, we were leash training them. They'd be fine on their leash and harness indoors, but when they're out, outdoors, they'd just get spooked. They just wanted back in the house, and so I gave up on that idea. Like, I could have kept trying, but I was just scared that they would constantly try to run out the doors when we're not taking them out. Like, they might try to just sneak out all the time. And so I was like, you know, maybe I just shouldn't because there's a lot of traffic around here. We don't let them outside on their own because they'd be dead in no time. So, yeah, they don't go outside. They do like to look outside, especially Kiki. She loves looking at birds and she'll start chirping and pawing at the window or whatever you want to call it. She's just like, does her little I don't know why I call it a chirp. <laughs> and so it seems like she wants to be outside, but she doesn't. I think they would appreciate some fresh air though. So I want to make a little contraption that I can set up here and they can go freely in and out through the window, but only as long as I have it set up. If it's, if it's bad weather or I'm not home, it's not going to be set up. So something we're going to be setting up and taking down all the time. But I just thought it would improve your quality of life. Yeah, boo boo. I just feel sad that you are stuck indoors all the time. The life of a cat seems a bit boring. The problem with our windows is they're hinged at the top. Kiki, do not jump out. They open like this, and there are hooks here that attach just right in that loop. But it holds the window about right here. That's not that much space. Look, if we had longer hooks, like a little bit higher that reached further on the window. Okay, Kiki, I don't want you jumping out yet. This wooden frame actually props it open really nicely, but I'd probably want it in the middle, because I only have one. Just like that, just a bit off center. That works. Beep. You're not supposed to go in it yet. It just pops open every time I release it unless I tie the ends together. There is a little thing to hold it shut. But, yeah. All right, I'm heading outside. It's such a noisy day. I don't know if the babes are going to like this. tunnel is more rigid than I thought it'd be so it doesn't squeeze into my corner as nice as I thought. The tunnel is also hovering above the ground which is no good because I think it's going to spook them when it starts to sink. They almost need some kind of ramp which I guess I could build. I just need a big piece of wood. Actually I do have a piece of wood that big. This one I was going to paint on it someday but this would make a good ramp. Okay that's the best I could do for now. This is also sticking out because of how rigid these coils are. But there's a bit of a ramp there. It doesn't reach the whole way. And unfortunately, they're gonna be half on concrete. <laughs> but I figured that much. It's raining ever so slightly, so that might mess with the plans if it starts to rain more. Come here, Kiki. I see you down there. Do you mean to, mean to hold you up to the hole? Well, it's just meow to me. Come here. Kiki was up there and she was inching her way out, but then Midna jumped up and it spooked her a little bit. 
Oh, what's that? <laughs> so brave. I know you're going to learn to love it. You're going to meow at the window. You're going to want out all the time. The weather's not the best, but on a nice sunny day, I know you'd love to lay in the sun. Although I don't know how much sun you'll get between the trees and the house. Are you done, Kiki? Was that enough for you? She's going back. harder now. According to my phone, it says rain continues past 5.50 p.m. Man, I could drape something over the tent, but then they have less visibility. And whatever I drape over, it's gonna get really wet because I don't have an actual tarp. <laughs> oh, you're getting wet, Kiki? And a truck just drove by, a big one. That rain's not very nice, is it? Should probably take their blanket out of there. Oh, mushy mush. Oh, it's wet. Yes, it's wet out. Wet and spooky. Tomorrow it's forecast to rain as well, but for morning it says about five millimeters and afternoon it says less than one. I don't know if I should just leave it up. Maybe for a little bit, in case I want to sniff around it a bit more. For now though, it's kind of wet out there, isn't it? That's Vancouver for you. If they do learn to love this thing, I'm going to feel bad about the winters because <laughs> it's going to be too cold to open the window and too wet to go outside. She's like, I want to go out there, but it's all wet. Okay, they sat by the window for a while looking outside, but it's just too wet. I'm gonna go take the tent back in before it becomes too drenched, because it looks like the rain is not gonna let up anytime soon. Oh look, it's inside now. <laughs> I just thought they might wanna play in it and maybe just get more used to it too. <laughs> is that fun? All the reviews were great saying it's a good quality product and the mesh is durable, all that good stuff. So yeah, I am pleased with it. We'll just have to wait for some nicer weather. Thursday's supposed to be nice and going forth to the weekend. Today and tomorrow are rainy. Here. Oh, 
It's about to get 3D up in here. I feel like I have so many ideas of what I want to do, but I'm going to try to save the more elaborate things for another video. I'd rather try multiple smaller things in this video just so I can try different techniques and just get the hang of the pen, right? Is this seriously right-handed? I guess I'll just have to hold the pen upside down to make it left-handed. I guess that's the solution. Okay, now it's loading. Press it again to stop loading. I don't know how long, how much do I load? Ah! Some clear stuff oozed out and now it's... Huh. I'm confused. I thought you had to like hold the button to make it come out. It comes out on its own. Yeah. I made a square. Okay, it's like hours later. <laughs> this is so addicting. I need to go to bed, but I don't want to stop. I'm like, yes. Yes, my creations are coming to life. <laughs> These two things of orange are either the exact same color or they're so darn close that they practically are the same color. And that is perfect because I'm gonna need all the orange I can get. I've been, this is like a full unused one. And then this is the other one. I only have this much left of it, so. Probably gonna need to cut into this bad boy. As far as I know, that's the only repeat. Wait, what are these whites? Oh no, that one's kind of different. This is light goldenrod yellow. Oh, well, it looks just like a slightly different white. <laughs> but yeah, that actually worked out because I need those oranges. But it's getting late, so I need to stop. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But then over here, we have my nicely cut stuff. So I have one big piece, which is not a particular size. This is just left over from something else we did. I'll show it in a sec. And then I have some 20 by 24. So let's say 20 by 30. I ended up going 20 by 24 instead because I just like that dimension. I only have a couple that size though because I 